let's talk about your mental health and why no one is going to fix it apart from you. Right, guys, so I've just got out of my gym and we've just been filming a podcast. As you know, gyms are closed down completely right now. So we've just been using the office to film a podcast. Absolute nonsense, this lockdown. Look, guys, the, the common talking point throughout this lockdown is mental health and it's so so important it's it's a big topic now suicides are through the roof depression is through the roof divorces are through the roof the country is going to shit it's because we've got no outlets to really put that energy into no longer do we have gyms to put our energy into no longer do we have even bars to go and be sociable and, and put our energy into you're told that we can't even visit our parents you can't even visit friends so we're living this lockdown restricted lifestyle us humans we're meant to be free we're meant to explore we are natural expo- explorers and now we're just told to stay in and lock down all for the sake of this this drama i won't even say the word because I'll get demonetized and this video could even be taken down. If you don't know already, I've got a music channel, which I'll link down below. I've done a music video about this whole situation, let's say, and it wouldn't let me run ads to the video because it said it's a sensitive issue. And in the in the music video, I don't even say anything bad. I just say about how, like, you know, we need our freedom back. That's all I say. But we just live in this censored lifestyle, this restriction all these restrictions mental health is a big thing right now we've just been talking about it myself and phil one of the trainers at our gym we've both had our own mental health issues and i see a lot of people talking about mental health and and how how important it is but one thing that i don't really see that much is people giving solutions on how to fix it or how to actually tackle it and make it a little bit better now two years ago two and a half years ago i went through my own battle with mental health when it was happening i didn't actually know what it was i didn't know it was actual mental health issues i'd maybe go as far to say i was depressed now i understand that there's a lot of people out there who have severe severe depression and the last thing i want to do is categorize myself as someone who had severe depression okay but looking back on it it was bad i did have a hard time basically what happened is i found myself stuck in this business model that i'd created so i'd created my own prison i was part of a mentorship program that helps gym owners take their gym to the next level with regards to members income staff systems all these really good things so it was a massive self-development program business wise but also mentally i learned so much so many important life skills on this mentorship program it's stuff that even now to this day i can use to to start up new businesses but i found myself down this particular path this path doing these certain methods or in order to grow my business and for what i needed my business to be it was the right path but one thing that one question that i didn't stop to ask myself is is this what i want do i want a business that is based around this because i'm going down this path down here but i haven't even stopped to ask myself is this what i want and because i didn't actually ask myself that question i started resorting to escapism i started drinking every night i started smoking which just is not me but it was a, for, a form of escapism. I started putting less effort into the business. I was playing on my Xbox more. I was procrastinating a lot more. I got fat. I went up to 15 stone. And basically what happened is I lost control of all these different important aspects of my life. Training, nutrition, my body, my relationships, my finances. All very big important pillars in the majority of our lives i let go i let slip but the beauty is it's all within our control and we know this we know that this is nothing this is nothing profound i'm not i'm not teaching anything new here just control focus on what you can control we hear it all the time but then trying to actually do that as a whole different ball game you know we can all say oh focus on what you can control but then when it boils down to it and you're having a terrible day and you're thinking of all these bad thoughts and you're in a dark place it's very difficult to get the to have the get up and go to start 
controlling your training, controlling your nutrition, controlling your relationships. Where do you start when you're in such a bad, negative place? The point at which I remember changing or making the decision to change and improve my life, I wasn't thinking about that, right, let's beat mental health. I've got mental health issues, which I'm gonna beat now. I wasn't even thinking that. I was thinking, I've lost control of all these different parts of my life. If I take control of all of these different aspects and areas of my life that have let slip, surely I'll probably feel better than I do now. So I wasn't thinking about I'm gonna cure my mental health and this is a mental health mission. I was more so thinking of it from a perspective of I am not helping myself right now and no one else is. I have a really great support system around me. I have good friends, I've got great family. Yet, no one, no one helped me get out of it. Ultimately, what it boiled down to is I had to drag myself out of it. I had to pull myself out of the state of being a victim and having a victim mentality. And I had to gradually change that to become a victor. I had to change my mindset to a victor mentality. And that's one thing that my mentor taught me that was really good. Are you a victor or are you a victim? And a lot of people in life float by with the victim mentality. The problem with this is that you play the blame game then. It's everyone else's fault. You never take true ownership of where, where you're at in life. And that's so, so important. That was the start of my change. I started controlling my diet a little bit more. I stopped eating so much crap. I started taking control of my relationships. And I started working a little bit harder to take the business in a better direction based on what I actually wanted. And then it was still a very long battle from there. I noticed I started having health problems as well. When I was mentally sick, let's say, I had physical symptoms. I remember I had a headache for about three months straight. I honestly thought that I had a brain tumor. I went to, I even went to the opticians to get them to check my eyes because the optician can take a picture of the back of your, of your skull, the back of your brain. So if there's any sort of issues, anything that shouldn't be there, they'll actually spot it. I went to the doctor. I honestly thought there's something physically wrong with me, but it wasn't. It was the mental stress and the, and the depressive state that was expressing and manifesting itself in physical symptoms. It's crazy, guys. You don't understand how physically sick mental health issues can make you. So even for a good period of time, whilst I was fixing these parts of my life, my nutrition, my, my training, my business, my relationships, I was still very sick. I was still feeling very, very crap. But the one thing that I was doing is gradually, step by step, I was pulling myself out of the abyss. I was just chipping away at, at those issues, chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. And I still felt shit. But because I got myself into a really good routine, working at these parts of, of, of my life and prioritizing them, gradually, it seems like out of nowhere, it's, I, I was making small momentum, small momentum. Then gradually, I woke up one day and I was like, I'm fine. I'm actually fine now. I'm better. And it's sometimes, if, if anyone out there has ever had anxiety, like actual anxiety or a panic attack, sometimes what you need to do is you need to divert your focus onto something else. So if anyone's had a really bad anxious moment and then they go and get a shower and then maybe like a cold shower and then get, get changed, have a shave, brush your teeth. Before you know it, you're like, what were there? I haven't actually got the anxiety now because you've just spent the last 20 minutes with your focus and your attention, attention diverted away from the anxiety that's inside and, and put onto something practical that you can control, like just something as simple as getting a shower. And before you know it, you're like, oh, yeah, I haven't got anxiety anymore. Oh, that's funny. I found it's the same on a macro level as well. If you can identify the particular areas of your life that you need to fix, like I did, the training, the nutrition, the body, the relationships, the business those five key pil pillars of my life to keep me stable and sane. If you can identify what's going on in your life right now that you could probably need to fix, probably need to take control of because no one else is going to sort out for you and gradually set yourself a routine, a daily routine to chip away at them and just be consistent for the next four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, six months, 12 months, whatever it might be, look at it on a macro scale, but just set yourself that routine and trust in the process and chip away, chip away at those key areas and key pillars of your life. And before you know it, 
you won't even have you you, you might get rid of your mental health problems I don't think they go completely because now you're aware that you can always go down those dark paths so I think you know it, it's it's always easier to slip back into it but it's also easier to know why you're slipping back into those issues so you find the chip away one day you'll wake up and you'll be like oh do you know what right because my focus and attention has been in the areas where it should be and I'm being productive towards taking my life forward I'm actually fine now I'm actually okay now and as I say I don't want anyone to out there to think that this is some sort of universal law and universal rule that like if you've got severe mental health issues and maybe bipolar disorder and schizophrenic and, and all that that this is going to fix you of course not but I'm just saying you can definitely, definitely work on the foundational levels yourself and then go from there. And it's a better platform to build upon when you've got a stable foundation in place with regards to your body, your health, your mindset, your nutrition, your finances. If you get all these elements in place, it's so much easier. You're giving yourself more of a fighting chance to actually be successful and get better. The amount of people who I have trained over the years who've got mental health issues and training for them wasn't even about getting in crazy shape. It was about giving them a routine, giving them small little weekly goals to hit with regards to whether it was just lifting a little bit more weight than we did last week, whether it was getting a few more reps, whether it was losing a pound, whether it was gaining an extra half a pound of muscle, whatever it might have been, those short little steps before the newest six months, 12 months down the line of just having that routine, they wake up and they feel significantly better than they did 12 months ago because they've just had that routine every single day of working on themselves. I believe there's a common theme between people who have anxiety and depression. Often you find that a lot of, their, a lot of that person's energy doesn't go into bettering their, themselves and their life. You need to start putting more energy into yourself, bettering your own life, getting more educated on your passions following your dreams a little bit more taking a little bit more risks that are going to benefit you as well training nutrition better your health better your relationships read a little bit more meditate all these extra little outlets out there that you can do that really help move you forward you want to try and do as much of that as possible but a lot of people don't really spend a lot of energy on themselves in a good positive manner guys that's just my little bit of advice for mental health issues this has been helpful whatsoever feel free to share the video like the video if you disagree with what i'm saying dislike the video and comment below and let me know your thoughts or your experience with mental health and i hope that you're doing okay and that you get through this lockdown hopefully this isn't going to go on much longer but stay strong guys try and focus on what you can control and work on that and put good positive energy into yourself and better than your own life okay I love you all. I'll see you on the next one.